Hey guys, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. MGTOW, men can opt out. Have you ever thought about it, guys? Have you ever thought about what it means to be able to opt out? Before I dig into it, I want to say thanks to everyone for subscribing, for watching, for commenting. Everything you write in the comments, your experiences, your thoughts, help other men understand their power. Imagine, just if you will, you know, imagine you're in prison. You're in prison, right? Yeah, you've been sentenced for, uh, who knows what, robbing a bank. And you were told by the, the, <clears throat> the, the legal system, you got to stay in prison 20 years. Well, you hung out for a while. You decided you didn't like it. Wasn't quite right for you. Didn't fit. And you said, fuck it. I'm leaving. I'm opting out of prison. And everyone's like, hey, you can't do that. And you're like, no, no, I, I just make the decision, right? I'm going to go my own way. That is exactly what being MGTOW is. It's going your own way. It's having the ability to go your own way. Anytime you want, you can opt out of the prison. The prison. Now, I mean, what is the prison? The, the matrix, the prison. You know, what is it? Well, it's an artificial construct, right? The movie, The Matrix. It's an artificial construct. That's what life is. That's what social rules are. It doesn't mean you, you should be immoral, but it does mean you can make your own damn choices. You can opt out. Opt out of it. It's, it's like getting a prison sentence for, you know, what it, you know how long does marriage last uh, typically? Anywhere from 5 to 25 years. And then she loses her mind at some point and, and fucks you over. Um, you, you, can, you can opt out. right? You have a choice. You don't even have to go to the prison. It's your choice. What a fucking superpower. Imagine any superhero in, in, in the movies would go, I, I opt out of this situation. And poof, right? They're out of the villain's control, right? They're not going to die. I guess maybe that's how superhero cartoons are. But you can opt out of the relationship. You don't have to play by the rules. That's the power of being a man and realizing, realizing it's your life and your authority. You don't have to, to put up with the crap. Now, you've probably, when you were a, a small boy, were chastised by your mom or your grandmom or your aunt and certainly by any sisters or her friends and cousins, right? They would guilt you, shame you, tell you how naughty you were and you took all that shit and you accepted it. Imagine how well you would do as a kid if you knew back then you didn't have to put up with that shit and you could just, you could psychologically opt out of it and just let all that fucking baggage go by the wayside. Imagine that. Imagine where you would be today. That is what men going their own way is all about. It's realizing these rules. These rules in the world don't apply to you. They never did. The only one who put you there was you. Now, sure, you can claim you were tricked, right? You were coerced. Uh, there was some duress. And, you know, I can make that claim you can make that claim. Anyone can make that claim. But in all reality, we, we put ourselves in it. And so if we realize and recognize that we put ourselves in it, then we can conquer that part of our life, defeat it and put it behind us, get rid of it, right? You can opt out of the control system. There's certain things we can't get rid of, right? You can't get rid of the cop behind you following you when you're speeding. You can't opt out of that situation, but you can opt out of the situation where there's a bitch in the passenger seat telling you to slow down, telling you to go faster, telling you it's your fault you're going to be late, telling you that you did it wrong. You can opt out of that. You don't have to listen to anybody who's going to chastise you and make you feel guilty. And if they get away with telling you, you can opt out of the feelings. They're just feelings. The, the objective of everyone else is to control you. To control me. That's their objective. 
and I have chosen to opt out, to go my own way. I've said it in the past. I put my face in these videos. I talk about what gold-digging horrors, what horrific, harpy-like cunts feminist and feminazi women are. Because what they want to do is destroy men. And I am not afraid of them. Fear, fear, brothers, is the number one controlling force. Right? I fear someone shooting me. I don't fear a woman trying to tell me what to do, trying to guilt me. I don't fear them taking anything from me because I do not allow them to a position where they can take from me, where they can hurt me. I have chosen to opt out of that crap. It is a wonderful feeling. And that's my brother pulling up behind. <laughs> okay. Um, but you can, you can go your own way, right? You can opt out of everything. Fear, control, the menacing nature of the pissed off woman. We don't have to put up with it. And not only in your personal life, guys, you can opt out in your professional life. It's a little trickier, but in your professional life, how do you get away from the control? You can't just call them whores in a professional setting. You can't do it. I know that. But you can opt out of it. You don't have to participate. You know, one of the things I do at work professionally is hold all women accountable. If you hold them accountable and go to their supervisors and say they're not doing their job right, they cannot play victim. They can try, but you don't let them. That's how you opt out. When men give in to women, they're whining, they're crying, their attempts to feel like they've been victimized or that as a man you're putting them down. That's one of those things that we men can do to opt out of that system by not giving in to them and then holding other men accountable when they try and give the girls, give the wimps, give the women the pass. And manginas are the worst at this. But I hold them accountable and say they want equal rights. Is that what we're talking about here? Well, do they want their job? You know, how do they get a raise? And I put it right back in their lap and I expose the hypocrisy of the system. I opt out of the feminist role in my personal life and at work. Everywhere I go, I don't accept it from, from the government. Anywhere, I refuse to accept it. I take the battle to them when it happens. And speaking of that, I've got a pair of glasses that has a built-in camera and a built-in microphone and records everything I see. I've got it now. Um, I'm going to take it out and I'm going to go, go see if I can't run into one of these feminist bitches that loves to fucking pick a fight with me. I was at a restaurant the other night and some fucking waitress had to say some shit while I was eating some food. And I thought, damn, if I just had those glasses, I could have recorded the put down and the putter in their place. Would have been fucking sweet. So I got to get those out and start using them. But men, you, you have the power. This is, this is one of the main themes of MGTOW is freedom is you have the penis. You have the power. And you can opt out and take back control of your life. You know, it's... It, it, it's not just in your personal relationship. It's not just the broad in the passenger seat that's fucking things up. Okay, they're everywhere. Feminism and these bitches, their actions and their attitudes permeate all of society. When you turn on the television, when you go to a movie, when you go to a restaurant, when you go to the supermarket, it's everywhere. It is a gynocentric world. And you can opt out of it. Even though it's all around you, you can free your mind of that control. One of the things my ex never learned was to hear the word no. Right? And when I started saying no and meaning it, 
It did nothing but infuriate her. And then say, what are you going to do about it? There's not a fucking thing she could do about it. But women would love you to believe when they say you have to sleep on the couch that you have to go there. And that when, you ha that when they want something, you have to provide it. Just fucking tell them no. That's, that's what I realized, right, a long time ago. You can tell them no. You can opt out. You do not have to accept the social punishment. And if you stop fearing, stop fearing what these people can do to you, you will be free. I don't fear. If, if someone says, you know, if my job is lost, if I lose my fucking job because of this channel, it won't hurt me. All it's going to do is make me that much freer. So I'm not afraid to put my face on here and say that it's a bunch of man-hating, penis-envy-having, gold-digging, you know, brass bra bullshit cunts, right? They're just full of shit beyond belief. They cannot control me, and all they can do is try and punish me, but it doesn't work because I have opted out of the fear of what other people think. Because I am a man, and I have the penis, and I do what I do. I do what I need to do. I do what I want to do in my life. And all men need to get back to there, I think. That's where we need to get back to. And, and it's your choice. You can go your own way. Pick your own path. But when you're free, when you're most free, all the options are available to you. All the mysteries of life get revealed when you start to be free. So I, again, I, I want to thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe down below. Hit the button. I try and get videos out as often as I can when, uh, when thoughts hit me, uh, when I'm inspired, uh, when I'm fucking pissed off, whatever the case is, right? And uh, I can't wait to read comments and share thoughts with you guys. And as always, if, if you know a guy who's having, he says, I'm fucking pissed at my girlfriend. He's pissed and he doesn't understand, possibly. If you send him to a MGTOW channel, like uh, Sandman or MGTOW 101 or my channel, or any of the other channels. There's lots of good, good, good channels out there. He can learn what the fuck is going on in his world, and he doesn't have to be frustrated at her. He can just get rid of her. Women, if you want one, are a dime a dozen. Why fucking bother with them? Right? <sighs> There's, I mean, because... just. You know, 95% plus are all feminists. They, they hate you, and all they're waiting to do is destroy you and take all your shit. That's what they're doing. Because that's what the evidence shows. So free yourself from their control. One of the big control mechanisms is telling you that you need to have a woman. And that you can't live without one. And then they use guilt and shame. Saying, well, that's your job as a man. You need to provide. And what are you, gay Right? There's that threat of gay. Fuck you, bitch. Right? If I was gay, how would you know anyways? Oh, man. Just stupid bitches. Anyways, I'll see if I can't get those glasses on and get out in public and uh, run into some feminists. Because they are everywhere. They're like a fucking virus. Like a disease. Okay, guys. You know, opt out of the system. MGTOW. Have, uh, have it your way. Just, just look in the mirror in the morning and say, I have the penis. You're the man. You're the boss. You make your own decision. Opt out of the system and be free. MGTOW is freedom.